Hi, Toby Hodges. Some pretty ideal conditions here actually. A bit cloudy, but otherwise, really good breeze. Quite gusty as well, um, but good conditions to see what this new family cruise is about. see a few upgrades straight away on this, a few actual options such as the solar panels and these nice Echo Elstrom sails. More and more yards are starting to fit which is nice to see. They've got good recycled polyester content, content in them. Uh, and this is it's a standard two cabin boat uh, but obviously we've got a few extra, extra options on board this first model. So whilst talking about that main sail, I should just add that uh, we haven't been able to get proper halyard tension because it keeps dropping through the clutch. So we have just tried to rig a Cunningham with the second reef there. So this is the view really from the helm. You know, typical, typical of a modern production cruisers set up really to have twin helms with the winches right after hand here makes it easy to shorthand particularly with a self-tacking jib like this just starting to fetch off now we, we to set the uh, asymmetric sail but we've been sailing upwind here uh, doing about six knots in sort of 16 17 apparent sailing about 30 degrees to apparent tacking through about 80 degrees so yeah, all respectable stuff. You see quite a lot of line tails back here, you've got the clutches back here. Um, so you need to be organized with those, but as I say, sailing it short-handed, especially with the self-tacking jib, uh, is really very easy going upwind. No one has to touch anything. Just tack through, uh, change, change the other helm if you want to and you can see just how much space there is in this nice deep cockpit actually, nice high combings. Um, so it's good protection under that spray hood and space around those twin tables. These ones are telescopic, they're fixed at as standard with, with uh, handrails along them. So set up for the Jenica sailing going back downwind. So we've just been trying to sail downwind with the Jenica with a sock but had some issues with that so whilst they're trying to fix that uh, sock and asymmetric just have a quick look down below here it is just a quick look I'm afraid because I only have a quick uh, amount of time on the boat anyway this is offered as a two or a three cabin boat um, and if you think back to this with 388 before uh, they sold around 45 percent of those with the two cabin option so it's it is a a popular one to have so the standard boat two cabin extra to have this third and what that means is you get masses amounts massive amount of stowage back there which is uh, accessible from the cockpit hatch as well uh, and this one looks like they are using this stowage as well you see the hull window in there as well so there's plenty of light uh, another Good adaptable area is here so you could have a full length sofa berth here or you can have that's me leaning on the lights uh, or you can have um, a proper chart table where the bench comes underneath it uh, or you have this multi-function area and that means you still get a, a, a desk somewhere to stand and work out or imagine you can have a stool there as well or but you get this all that stowage beneath it so you have that stowage or you have an extra fridge space or you have a dishwasher whatever else you want otherwise you can see this is a very big 40 footer l-shaped galley massive saloon area uh, again more good usable stowage below the saloon table and you can have a table that joins this area as well so you could sit all the way around that table and then how about this for a master cabin on a 40 footer feels extra large 
uh, because this obviously only has one heads on this boat, but you can see on the on the headline in there where the heads compartment would fit, or you go like this one for all the extra stowage space as well. So we're sailing currently, as you can see, with the self-tacking jib, making about eight knots, seven and a half, eight knots, reaching in about 15 knots breeze. And this is what it sounds and feels like in the master cabin. And you notice these, lots of natural ventilation, which is a good thing to have as well. Imagine with those hatches open as well. Uh, and that's throughout the boat. It's good natural ventilation. Stowage beneath the berth in raised lockers and another wardrobe, smaller wardrobe behind the door here. And then moving aft, obviously this one just has the single heads, but a good size separate shower compartment in there as well. And then common theme to the aft cabins to be uh, housing all of the deck cushions. Obviously this one on the two cabins, space, there'd be plenty of space in that utility cabin on the port side to have those. But again, not bad space in here, small locker outboard. Uh, and then you can see the access panel there into the engine room below companionway steps. Let's see if I can lift those now. So a little bit tight access there, but there are panels each side you know, from the galley there and from the aft cabin, which you'll need really to get at servicing it. And this massive amount of stowage back here. Look at that. Uh, again, that can be extra refrigeration space. That is a huge locker. Not short of stowage on this boat. Then you've got your drop down lift top fridge in there. Some extra front opener. I know that's just to get into that fridge from there. So same amount of refrigeration space, but just to get to the bottom of it. So this Hansa 410 starts at 251,000 euros. The boat we're on with the options where we've got you can add about another 100,000 on that, so around 360,000 euros ex tax. Sorry, it's just a quick sale tour, but that's all the chance I've got to have today. Thank you.